EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From just west of Calgary at Banff Springs, it's live first round coverage of the Canadian Championship. We've got a full field ready to get rolling on this Thursday as we get a look at the early leaderboard. A lot of folks fighting for the title, including our leader. And there's a good start, that one in the fairway here to get the tournament rolling. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third. Nota, uh, this player very simply has the look of a winner. The bounce and the step, the smile, the ease with which they're playing this next round. Nothing like getting that first win in your hip pocket, right? You know it. Well, over the course of your career, there's a handful of things that you always remember. You remember your first win as a junior golfer. You remember your first big win as an amateur. Now, your first win as a professional sticks in your mind for the rest of your life, but this is the professional game. You've got to keep building. Yeah, that's a good putt. It's a birdie here at one. And she'll quickly move here to one under par. Frank, it's always nice to begin a round with a little variety. We had a relatively short par four opening hole and now a par three to back it up. You can see why short iron play is going to be paramount today, Rich. Short iron into the first hole and a chance here to hit another short iron into a short par three. So you can get off to a very fast start. Well, he played it safe, but that's okay there on the front part of the green. Going to have to give this a pretty good thump. This is well back there and into the hill. You might like this one. You might really like it. Oh, do that from way downtown. That's in for birdie here at two. Well, Frank, as we get to the third hole here, a par five, it feels to me like you need to be at a minimum one under through the first three holes or you're losing ground to the field. You're exactly right. Chance here for birdie or eagle, too. This is one of those holes you can just wind it up and let it fly, and you'll certainly get a good reward with a big tee shot. <laughs> That will do just fine. Now, from way down there, a good look at a second to the par five. Got every bit of that, flew it all the way there, and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Uh, that didn't need much more, but it does come up just about a foot short. Yeah, no sweat. It is a birdie here at the third. Of well, the strength of that, she's into the lead by a stroke. Well, Frank, no doubt this is one of the most photographed holes in, in all of golf. The Devil's Cauldron, just get to the front of the tee there, get the camera out. The vistas there are amazing. You see the mountains in the background, uh, this green surrounded by the pine trees. And of course, if you like a, a, a lake or two, there's a lake just in front of that green, just to give you that little color of blue in the, the uh, snapshot you're going to take. I like to look at them, not swim in them. Certainly not fish golf balls out. All right, you don't have to catch it on the middle of the face every time. That's on the middle of the dance floor and a birdie putt coming up. From close range, this for a two. Yeah, that's a well-played hold. It's a birdie here at four. And the lead is now two here on day one. Back on the tee here at Banff Springs, fifth hole, 424 yard par four. What's the setup here, Frank? Well, it's very tempting to try and hit a draw because uh, that's the way in which the hole is shaped. But uh, 
The main, the main goal is to make sure that you can take that second bunker, the one on the left side, out of play with that tee shot. Yeah, why not? Another great tee shot. Maybe a chance now to go after what would be a fifth consecutive birdie. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Yes, a good read. It's a birdie here at five. And the lead quickly stretches to three here in the early going. Frank, you played at the highest level all over the world. What was a comfortable yardage for you on holes like this? I actually had a club, believe it or not, that just the grooves on it, it would go 105 yards. It was a lofted sand on, whether it was out of the first cut or up or the fairway. So if I could hit it around 100 yards, I could almost hit that distance with my eyes closed. After that, 70 yards was the next one. So everybody has that little sort of sweet spot with the wedge. So that means on a hole, I guess you were looking for something off the tee in the 265 to 270 range, and, and that would put what club in your hand? Just a, in those days, it was a 53 degree sand on, yeah. And that a little beyond the hole, but a good shot. Chance now for another birdie. Hmm, disappointing. Safely in for par here at the sixth. And this will remain a three-shot lead. Now to the second par five on this opening nine. Frank, this is a pretty long hole, 602 yards. Well, it's called hoodoo. You know what hoodoo means? It means bad luck, actually. So you don't really want to be thinking about that on this tee shot. 602 yards, if you belt one off the tee, well, you might avoid the bad luck. And no issues there. Good tee shot in the short grab. That one had to feel good. Yeah, it struck it so well. You could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for eagle three. Superb. Now to hole number eight. It's another par three with some water. Frank, only 150 yards. This is the shortest hole in the golf course. The distance controlled is still very important. If you can get the right distance, you could perhaps aim 10 or 15 feet left of the flag. You're only going to have a 10 or 15 foot putt. So uh, just, just think of that. Water on the right there. Maybe just aim a little further to the left. You can still make birdie. Okay, safely aboard. This would be a big bonus if it went in more than likely just trying to get this one close. Ah, look at that put on the brakes. That's pretty well judged from there. Okay, that in for par here at the eight. And that's gonna keep this large lead right where it is. 
So we'll round out the front side here at Banff Springs with a par five and reasonably short at only 501 yards. So very reachable because of that yardage that you just referenced. Whole bend's a little bit to the right. You can favor the left side with a tee shot. It's just gonna make that angle on the second a little bit easier. Now that is made to measure right there, right in the center of the fairway. Now a big spot here for something good. This is a short second to the par five. Good shot that is home and two on the par five. Remember, made eagle earlier in the round, Frank. That may be a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. Mm, that had a pretty good line. Very close to going in. More than a tap in there. It is a birdie at the ninth. And that'll wrap up a front side that was absolutely a thing of beauty. How about eight under 28? Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo for EA Sports. We are back on this beautiful day here at Bamp Springs in the Canadian Rockies. Set to kick off all the action on the back nine. The tent begin with a par three, Frank, 218 yards. And I have no idea why this is called Little Bow, because over 200 yards, you really have to bow up with this tee shot here. <laughs> That's for sure. Bending there, you need, uh, you need something that comes out of the gate very, very straight and uh, with a decent height on it as well if you want to land on that left side of the green and make it stop. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. And this one probably needs an extra nudge just to get it up that slope, but overall, it's not a difficult one. Okay, well done. A couple of birdies here sandwiched around the turn at 9 and 10. Out of the 11th hole, it's a par 4, 417 yards. Frank, what's the key here? Um, a nice little draw down that left side would be the ideal tee shot. Uh, the carry on the two little bunkers down the left side really isn't overly long, but uh, that's the desired entry into this green. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. Second shot, good look at the green. How about the level of shot making going on right from how that is very tidy right there. You bet, a birdie here at the 11th. Here at the 12th, par four, 442 yards. Frank, what's ahead? This one's called Big Boat. Uh, hole certainly a lot longer than the 10th hole, which is Little Boat. Dog legs to the player's right. A Couple of bunkers down the left side. That first bunker on the left shouldn't be too much of a problem to carry. But once again, even though the hole bends to the right, you'd like to be down the opposite side of the fairway, which is the left. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. And this is looking really good. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. Okay, that'll help the cause. It's a birdie here at number 12. 
Well, Frank, here's another pretty long par three, the 13th here at Banff Springs, 225 yards. What's the right play? Well, unless they have that flag all the way in the back, um, that first two thirds of the green is just like a nice big circle. You hit it anywhere on that, you can have a putt of some 20, 25 feet maximum for birdie. That is some kind of nice right there to four feet and a very good look at birdie. Now this for another birdie. Mmm, confidently done there. That's in for birdie here at 13. On to the 14th hole now. It's a par four, 442 yards. And what's the right way to attack here, Frank? Two choices, try and squeeze it down the right side, uh, just short of those big bunkers on that right. Either that or carry the bunker complex on the left. A little awkward. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. Uh, good shot, safely on the green, and a birdie chance. This will be a 14-foot putt here. I mean, this is just becoming too easy now. That a sixth consecutive birdie. Well, now the par fours begin to stretch out a little bit. The 15th here, Frank, is 475 yards. Certainly want to put your big shoes on here. Nice big slinging draw off the tee might help go a little further. It does go downhill considerably, so you get a little bit more run out of the tee shot if you did that. Boy, just machine like right now. Six birdies in a row, and now another tee shot in the fairway. Oh, just a, a beautiful performance, and this round looks like it's going to get even better. Just a beautiful iron shot. The sound off that club face. Yes! Seven birdies in a row now. Frank, the 16th hole, 414 yards, par four is nicknamed GOAT. Would, would that be greatest of all time, or is it just because the possibility you, you could see old Billy out there here in the Canadian Rockies? Uh, I'd like to think it's the, uh, the greatest of all time. Uh, I've never seen a GOAT hit a draw, that's why, and that's what's needed off this tee once again. The first bunkie should easily be able to carry that, and, uh, well, if you're the greatest of all time, this is a fair way, you certainly hit. That's going to be up the left-hand side. A good swing and a good result as that is safely into the fairway. Okay, not a bad lead. That's a good shot. Chance now for another birdie. Ah, oh, that a pure roll there. That is down for a birdie here at 16. Just two holes left here at Banff Springs, and Frank, another par four. This one, uh, short, 374 yards. It is. It's named Sasi, which is a tribute to the Indian tribes here and uh, in the First Nations of, uh, of Canada. So uh, just think about that when you're 
Ten and off here on, on what is not an overly difficult par four. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. About a 60% make percentage from here. This for birdie. That missed it left. Mm, that's a letdown. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And she's going to hold tight at 15 under. Well, Frank, this sets up for an exciting finish here at Banff Springs, a 578-yard par 5. It's just about a bunker in play for every length of tee shot here, so know exactly which one you can carry and exactly which one you cannot reach. shot now after the big drive this a good distance here for a second to the par five Every bit of that threw it all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Oh, how good is that? It's an eagle here at 18. And this will wind up being an astonishing 54. So, Frank, today, in a word, incredible. Just made a complicated game appear so simple. So that should just about do it for all of us at EA Sports. Thanks for spending some time with us on the road to the Masters.